looking for candidates, I want people who are intrinsically motivated. Someone who thinks broadly, has energy from lots of different places. What I'm looking for is somebody who clearly has uh, an interest in this job in particular. So what I always ask, what is ex ex most exciting to you about this role specifically? I would say it really helps if you can standardize the process as much as possible. Um, so for me, thinking about um, fit obviously is really important, but also thinking about what the person has done in the past and then how those skills might translate into the current role. We really want candidates who are good with people, who are going to be diplomatic, um, people who understand the science, yes, but who can quickly get up to speed on new topics. Um, we have a pretty common misconception that we're looking for people with editorial experience or with writing experience. That's not necessarily true. We can teach you those things. But we want to make sure that you are going to be a good communicator and a good diplomat for the journal. What are we looking for in a candidate? Well, let me, let me I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a secret that maybe not everyone knows uh, about our process. If you get to the third stage of interviewing for a job, at Cell Press. This is true of, I think, all of my colleagues at Cell Press, but it's definitely true at Cell Reports. That means your initial CV was assessed positively, and so we thought we would like to follow up. That was step one. Step two, let's uh, either some, some written questions or a conversation to gauge interest and in whether you're, 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 you're sort of good on your feet and know your stuff. The third step is to do something that we call the manuscript test. Um, it's an infamous stress test. And it is basically, I'm going to give you, I won't tell you how many papers, but it's more than one. I'm gonna give you actual scientific papers to read, and you're gonna sit in a room and you'll have at most one hour. Uh, we usually do this remotely, so you get to be at home at least. And you've got one hour to read those papers and then give a report about what you think those papers are about and whether they're worth sending out for review. And I hope that shows you one of the big things we're looking for in, a, in an editor.